Hey there! Hello and welcome to the technical section of Bio Pandit. This is Saurav, your very own Maha Pandit, and today I am going to talk about sequence logo. So first of all, what is a logo? Well, a logo is a representative image of something. You all know the logo of Facebook, Windows, Pepsi, Apple, Google, and of course of your very own Bio Pandit. When we talk about a sequence logo, we do not mean a single sequence. We mean a multiple alignment. So, what could be the logo of a multiple alignment? A logo represents the most fundamental idea about the product in a visually enriched way. So, the question here is, what is the most fundamental information included in a multiple alignment? A multiple alignment includes the information about evolutionary variation at different residue sites. So the idea is to represent this variation in a simple but informative and of course visually enriched way. Let us consider the case of Tata Box, a DNA sequence motif where transcription factor Tata binding protein binds. Tata binding protein or TBP binds to the minor group of DNA. Since there are fewer molecular recognition sites at the minor group site than the major group site, the sequence specificity of TBP binding is limited. And therefore, TBP can potentially bind to a wide variety of sequences provided there is some degree of sequence conservation. We have shown you an example of 15 Tata sequence variants, all of which accommodates TBP binding. We can measure the sequence conservation at various sites as the difference between maximum possible entropy and the entropy of the observed symbol distribution. See the expression here. But we are looking for something other than conservation, aren't we? We are looking for a visually enriched and informative logo representation of this alignment. Well, see this then. You all remember probability, right? Well, in this conserved alignment column with no gaps, what is the probability of finding cytosine? It's one, obviously. See for this column, the character C spans the full range of 0 to 1. Now let us see another column. Here there are A, T and G, but no gaps. So the total probability of finding them all is 1, obviously. But what is the probability of finding A? It's 11 divided by 13. Similarly, the probability of finding T and G are both 1 by 13. So in this case, we are going to write the three characters in a way that together they span the full range of 0 to 1 and individually span the heights equal to their probabilities of occurrences in that given column. Now what happens if there are gaps in the alignment? Look closely guys, I have shown you two columns with gaps. The right one has a lot more gaps than the left one. See the difference. The column with the most number of gaps is represented as a narrow character. The character still spans the entire range of 0 to 1 but narrow. The column with fewer number of gaps has wider character but still narrower than the columns with no gaps. So we learn that in this logo representation both height and width of a character are meaningful. On one hand, Higher character height reflects the probability of finding the character in the alignment column. This is calculated disregarding the gaps. On the other hand, narrow character width represents higher abundance of gaps in that alignment column. This is the logo representation of an alignment. So that's enough conceptual background for now. Let me show you how to generate a sequence logo starting from a multiple alignment. Let us start with the envelope glycoprotein sequence alignment of HIV-1 virus we created in our video on multiple sequence alignment. Next step is to go to web logo server. Just copy paste or upload your alignment here. Select output format PDF, sequence type protein, units probability and hit the create web logo button. There you go, see your logo file.
you can just open the alignment in Eugene to compare the results. For each nucleotide position, the variations are depicted. See, some alignment columns are conserved and some are variable. Position 19 is completely conserved. Look at Eugene. You can see that column 19 is 100% conserved, all glycine. See that in column 23, there are 81.4% gaps, 14% arginine and 4.7% lysine. Now see the logo. R and K span the total probability 0 to 1, but both are very much thin. So, this is how you create a sequence logo.